Hello, I'm a Biomi. I'm Anju. And we're a couple, hence us being in bed together. My uh, grandparents were born in the Caribbean. My mother was born here. Uh, my father was from the Caribbean as well. And I was born here. My grandparents were born in India, as well as my parents. And I was born here in the UK. Today we're going to have a little discussion. Um, we just thought it would be useful um, to have a discussion about um, about race. And so we've, we've already had a discussion, which you may or may not have seen. Um, go see that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's something that we do all the time. So, it, you know, we thought it'd be useful to kind of share this to the wider world and record it. Mm -hmm. um, today, specifically, as part of our conversations around race, mm -hmm. we want to talk about um, the race card. Uh, do you want to describe, do you want to uh, define what the race card is? Just for those who don't know. Yeah. Right, from my understanding, um, it's when a person of colour de deliberately um, or falsely, falsely accuses another person of being racist. Um, to, to gain some sort of advantage. Um, yeah, I think yeah. that's pretty much it. And, and, and usually that advantage is to, to, de to deflect away from, um, you know, something that they're doing themselves. So it could be something negative. Mm. So um, I, I said uh, on social media very recently that um, I'm of the opinion that the race card, so somebody accusing somebody, so usually a white person, who's accusing a black person of drawing on the race card um, is actually a racist concept in itself. Yeah. Um, so let's let's talk about that and let's talk about kind of how it came about in the first place. So it, we need to understand, first of all, that when we're talking about race, that race is very subtle, isn't it? Mm. And it's really complex. So part that's part of the problem in itself, the complexity yeah. and, and the subtlety of racism. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from times where um, where, where white people have been in in absolute power. So times of, of conquest and colonialism and slavery and, um, you know, just, just sort of white superiority, time, a, a period of time mm. of white superiority to now a time that would seem as if things are more equal, mm. right, in terms of power. So mm. you would not say the world that we live in now is necessarily a white man's world. Um, there, there is still kind of remnants of that mm -hmm. in terms of like you know old money and, and, and old establishments and stuff but yeah. generally speaking on the streets you wouldn't you wouldn't say that it's a white man's world right yeah. although it definitely has elements of it being a white man's world um, and there's definite sort of nods back to that when people talk about making places and, and situations and things great again like making America great again it's those kind of times that they're talking about right so so that's the subtlety of racism they're yeah. not going to look in your face yeah. and say you're a nigger mm. or you're a packy mm. or you're x y and z mm. now we live in a world of, of microaggressions mm. so it's it's people of colors constant yeah. and, I, and i and i mean that if you're if you're watching this and you don't understand what i'm talking about mm. just just believe me on this right mm. for this for this part and do research around it and talk to the people that you know who are of color mm. and they can vouch for me i don't know them you know we have no re um, relation in terms of us uh, um our social circles but trust me they would have mm. been through very similar um, experiences mm. and I, and, talk, and ask widely because it's not the case mm. for every black person but mm -hmm. and so that that's kind of the context for this this race card mm. because the race card let, let's let's because it's, it's not a tangible thing right mm. it's sort of the way the way it kind of is con it con the, what it conjures up in your mind is this idea of an ace card. So in, in a, you know, a poker game mm. or in a card playing game, mm. it's this ace card, isn't it? This card that is able to trump all the other cards, yeah. right? Mm. And that's the idea that the race card is. So it's basically, you put an R on that, right? And we're talking about race. Yeah. So it's the race card. Mm. And and it's a concept that's been created by um, by white people, mm. um, as you said. Mm. In, in its sort of, in its real terms, mm. it's a way of them describing the fact that a person of color is trying to deflect or distract from some yeah. some some real um, yeah yeah done. some real yeah. crime or mm. wrongdoing or um, such misdemeanor that they've mm. been picked up on mm. by using this smoke and mirrors of race. Mm. So you're only saying this as a black person. You might say to a white person, you're only saying this to me because I'm a black person, mm. as opposed to to acknowledging the wrong that they've actually mm. done. So an example of that would be. Um, I've seen a, you know a number of videos mm -hmm. where you'd have um, you know for example a, a black woman mm -hmm. 
who's in a shop and she's been um, apprehended by a security guard and his suspicion is that she has shoplifted. Mm. So he'll, you know, kind of be questioning her or whatever and he's, he's, he's arrested her, he's, he's, he's apprehended her um, and he's, he's asking her about, you know, what she's got in her pockets or what she's bought or what she's got in her bag or whatever. And she's kind of hyping up and saying, you know, mm. um, you're only searching me because I'm black. Right. And, and, you know, lo and behold, it, it, it kind of fast forwards and, and she gets searched and she's got a, you know, a bag full of stolen goods. Right. Now, mm. does that speak to race? Yes. In some ways, no, in other ways. So we know, for example, that, um, Stealing is not is not a black thing, right? It's mm. not it's not a, a it's not specific yeah, to black women or to black people, yeah. right? But there is something about black people being searched, yeah, and, and stopped, yeah, you know, like and to, 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 there, there's already a stereotype, isn't there? Absolutely, that, that out there that they fit that that bill in it. Like you you you're the person that would be a thief. Absolutely, Just, and so that's the subtlety because mm. that 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 stereotype exists. It's possibly not something that's spoken about or is overt, mm. but it does exist. There mm. is a stereotype out there that mm. black people are dishonest and that they would steal or they would loot or they would riot or they would mm. take things that don't belong to them, right? There is that, mm. right? There are criminals, right? Mm. There's, a, there's a, stereotype about, a stereotype about black people being mm. criminals. Mm -hmm. And so what that, that, that woman who is a criminal mm. and happens to be black, Right, she's not. She's not a criminal because she's black. Mm. She's a criminal who happens to be black because there are many shoplifters and thieves who are white, right, mm. or, who, or who who are who are of other ethnicities. The reason why why it's so subtle is because what she's trying to do is she's trying to play upon that stereotype mm. as the victim of that stereotype. Mm. But in mm. this case, she happens she to be wrong, yeah. yeah. She happens to be fulfilling the stereotype, right? In that sense. What she's doing is she's abusing the race card, yeah. right? Yeah, because so. it because it should be mm. that um, a person who does feel victimised because of their race, which happens all the time, which I've, I've just described, mm -hmm. should be able to say, "I'm being victimised." But yeah. what she does is she's played now into this this subtlety mm. of empowering white people to even think there is a race card, mm, right? Mm. Because what they're trying to say is that this whole, in, so it's mad, because when we say race card, the, again, there's sort of room for, for misunderstanding of meanings because mm. you could be talking about the race card as in the genuine race card, mm. i.e. somebody calling out racism against them, or you mm. could be talking about the accusation that there is a race card, so it's a very, yeah. it's a very tricky yeah. thing, right? But but I guess what we're talking about... And when about, it's been, been misused, it kind of loses its whole... Uh, the argument's lost, isn't yeah, it? Do you know what I mean? Because obviously what, what we're trying to say is that... Why is there a race card? Yeah. Like, should a race card even be a thing? No, isn't it? race because, card, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. it should, it's, it's there. And you shouldn't ever have to feel to say that um, you're victimising me because I'm black. Like, that shouldn't even be a concept. Right. It? it shouldn't be, you but, know. But adding to the subtlety, this is part of the thing, right? Because adding to the subtlety is the fact that Many white people who are racist don't see themselves as racist, mm. right? Mm. Because again, racism isn't this overt thing. It can be, mm. and it is in many places and in many circumstances and situations. But mm. I would argue from my experience, and we're not experts as we, mm. as we say, but we are experts by experience, that racism, the racism that I've encountered has been majority by people who have done it very ignorantly. Mm. So they're racist because of their behaviours and their attitudes, mm. but they don't own those attitudes or, 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 or yeah, mm. they're, not, they're not knowingly racist, mm. exactly. Mm. So examples would be that somebody would say to me, you're, you know, you're just pulling the race card there. That in itself <laughs> yeah. is deeply racist, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. It's deeply racist, mm. but I'm now- Where I, does that come from? Right. Where does that actually, what's the root of that? Because. Right. For you to say that you're pulling the race card, like what does that actually mean? You know, what did you mean by you mm. saying you're pulling the race card? Well, what it means is, it means I'm not, the person's trying to say, I'm not racist, yeah? I'm not racist, and because I'm so certain of the fact that I'm not racist and that my um, my motivations for saying or doing what I've done is are pure, mm. or is pure, mm. therefore, what you're saying must be just um, some, some illegitimate, way of, of of responding to me but using race mm. right but but the problem with that is usually 
it's somebody actually it's usually a person of color mm. trying to make mention of or raise the fact that they're offended or insulted mm. or hurt mm. by some racist uh, behavior or, or language mm. or um, attitude mm. or microaggression that's been projected towards mm. them right and so they're saying this has happened to me or you're mm. doing this to me and that or you're doing this thing because of the fact that i'm black mm. right mm. which again could be an unconscious bias because mm. there is unconscious mm. bias mm. so unconscious bias means that you might be biased against somebody mm. or towards somebody and not even realize why you're doing that mm. right and that's a real thing that's not that's not made up that's yeah. a real thing right mm. but because racism is so subtle and is and is generally not understood by white people it's not because and again, I, I, I am of the belief that um, that racism is a white problem. It's just, it's something that white people do to other people. And before you shout me down and before you get angry about that, um, there, there, there's, there's sort of deep reasoning about that, but I'll make it as simple as I can. Um, racism, basically, is a, is a thing. It's not... There's bigotry and racial hatred, which is one thing, mm. and there's racism, which is a different thing, yeah? Mm. But they're very similar. They're different, but very similar. So... Um, so black people can be guilty of race, racial hatred um, all people of colour can be guilty of racial hatred against white people um, and white people can be guilty of ra racial hatred against people of colour right? so everyone is mm -hmm. on equal footing in that sense, we're all able to be bigoted mm -hmm. and to hold ra racial hatred against other people mm -hmm. but the difference the, what, what makes racial hatred racism is that the racial hatred that a person has a white person has um, is part of a, a, a larger system which includes power and includes hierarchy mm. so as a black mm. person in the western world in England and in, in um, America and in Europe black people are not in a place that's high up in high enough up in the hierarchy to be able to have their racial hatred against white people really mean anything? And it's always been that way, hasn't of it? Course. You know I mean? so, and of course. Of course. From colonialism yeah. and um, slavery yeah. and everything that's else that's happened yeah. in history yeah. against people of colour. Yeah. That that precedent is already set, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's already there. So the, si the system has been set up. So exactly. that's what we're talking about. Mm. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of years, so centuries and mm. centuries. Of, we're never going to get away from that that's what i'm saying yeah I, I i'm a little bit more hopeful i am i'm a little bit more hopeful but i hear what you're saying mm -hmm. it's like trying to racism for me is like trying to explain everything that's happening on the internet right now it's a world in itself isn't it exactly. because it's big it, the, the internet hasn't been going on for years and years but because racism has been going on for so long and because it's it, it's seeped its way into every part and every fiber and fabric mm. of life and interactions with each other and because it's in embedded in our human psyche it, and so our attitudes are shaped by it and our perceptions are, sh are shaped by it mm. it's going to take a whole heap of work for us to yeah, undo that that's what I'm saying, and that's it? what this conversation is about isn't it mm. it's about anti it's about yeah. promoting anti-racism so sometimes, we have to be more hopeful yeah have to be. sometimes you just get like so overwhelmed by mm. it like you sit and think about it and mm. you're like wow like it's so deep and it? it's mm. just so big and vast like how can we break this thing down mm. and obviously yeah i don't want to be totally um pessimistic yeah that nothing can change yeah. because i really do believe for change i yeah. hope for change i pray yeah. for change i really want change yeah. for my kids that's why we're, that's why we're here doing what we're doing yeah. but um it's just it just seems so big isn't it a big it is. task in it no it, like, is. Wow, it is like how are we gonna get move forward from absolutely this, right? but if yeah. you were to speak to the average the average white person and and especially those who have not been educated or cultured around these things for them there is no racism in it we're past that civil rights happen mm. you guys got your rights you can vote etc etc um you're now yeah, equal even with those us things there, isn't it? But, even, even but, those statements it's like and that's what i'm saying even in those subtleties in racism yeah it's like it's it's those things there, like those mm. kind of statements. Maybe even aware that they're doing that. Yeah. It's, but it's they're not statements of equality. Exactly. And, and don't f and we mustn't forget that our statements come from somewhere. So mm. so nothing that we say is random or unconnected to our our sentiments or our beliefs. Just right. Similar. Our words come from our belief systems. Right. So again, nothing's random. Mm. My point being though that for for the average white person, they're gonna feel like 
what is this debate about? What is this conversation about? What is all this that's happening in the world about? I thought we were past this, yeah. right? Because sincerely in their hearts, for the majority of them, mm. they're not going out and calling people niggas yeah, yeah. and they're not packy bashing. Mm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? And mm. they, they don't have, you know, a collection of, of, of gollywogs in their, in their, in their, um, their cupboard, right? Mm. They're, not, they're not racist like that. Mm. They're racists by default, right? We live in a system of racism and of white supremacy mm. and they, and, her, yeah. and racial hierarchy and they are the, the beneficiaries mm. of that system. Mm. So naturally, they're going to get the benefits and the privileges of mm. that system. Mm. It's very simple, mm. right? And because of that, when they say the word nigger to me, it has a different power, meaning, influence, impact than me looking at them and, set and calling them a honky or a cracker, right? Mm. It's a different thing. It might seem like an 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 equal the face an value equal of footing, yeah. Someone looking at it might right. that it's the bomb he, bomb said a, he said he said he said a, a negative um, racial slur, and he said a negative mm. racial slur. But you'll because find you right, you're, saying, you're yeah. find for the most part that if I were to look at any, you know a white person and say you're a cracker or you're a honky, they possibly wouldn't even know what I mean by those mm. terms, mm. right? That's the first thing. They might not even it, it, they're so unaffected by racism that they wouldn't even probably know what I mean, right? Whereas I think, I think most people know that's a derogatory term. Like I, I've, I've had I've had conversations with white people, and, I, and I've said both of those words, and they've laughed and be like, "What do you mean? Like, what is that?" <laughs> and that's it's a beautiful thing in a yeah, way, yeah. but it's yeah. a it's a it's a dangerous thing in a way, right? Yeah. And so that's the first thing. There's a possibility they're not knowing what it means, right? Mm. Whereas the word nigger has so much. Mm. It's so loaded with meaning, isn't it? The word nigger means. I own you. Mm. You are nothing. Yeah. You are you are your 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 cattle. Your your property. You're oppressed. Yeah. You're, you're animal. right. Mm. You're you're three 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 fifths of a man. You're mm. an animal. It means I can take your children and your wife and mm. sell them off mm. in front of you. I can rape your wife and your children in front of you. You're you can do nothing human, about that. You're less than human. Mm. I can rape you in mm. front of your family. Right. It's all those things. I can take your land. That's what mm. the word the word niggers is, is is deep, man. Mm. And that's and that's not exhaustive, mm. right? Yeah. So, so different power, different meaning, right? Mm. But, but also, not only are they different words in terms of you know you may know that you might you might be familiar with with the word nigger, but not with the, the other the other words the, the white racial slurs. But in addition to that, um, there's something also about the power that they hold, mm. right? So when a white person calls me a nigger, they're actually just echoing the system. Mm. I face I face being called a nigger um, subtly. In, in all the interactions that I have with white people on a daily basis and with the media mm. and with the police mm. and in and in in, in um when when accessing medical services mm. and 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 right mm. so it's their their word nigger as an individual to me as a white person mm. actually holds far more power because it echoes out the system mm. and I hear all that and feel all that and I'm, I, and I'm faced and reminded by all that in that moment mm. whereas like if i call a white person a honky or a cracker or whatever word i might call them mm. yeah that's just me calling them that word mm. you see the yeah, difference yeah. there's no power in that i yeah. can't change it absolutely absolutely it's offensive mm. or it may be offensive but mm. it certainly doesn't hold power and it, and, it, and it certainly isn't an echo of something that's really impacting their life mm. right and that's why to them this race thing is a is a moot point or a past point something not that we shouldn't still be talking about because for them they feel it's like not it's not an issue yeah. but we can't feel like as mm. as people of color we can't feel mm. like that mm. not because we don't want to but when we're never in a position where we can safely mm. feel like that mm. right so that's the difference so that's i hope that we kind of help in terms of un unpicking the subtlety of racism and this is this is just some lay people's kind of yeah. um you know way of addressing it and, and mm. kind of unpicking and talking about this but mm. going back to the rate the race card mm. it sits within such subtlety that even for a white person when they're saying you're pulling the race card mm. they might not mean that in in in, mm. in aggressive or ra racially aggressive terms they might not mean it as a racist but they because the, i think their reasoning is that you're pulling you're you're saying that I'm racist, yeah. like you're accusing me of being yeah. racist, and I'm not racist. Yeah. Like for them to even say that 
shows that there's a problem there already for you to say for you to, like why can't there just be a problem like right. do you know what I mean right why can't it be that that x y and z has offended me yeah. or that was wrong like why does it even ha- come into it where you have to say that yeah. someone do you know what I mean? and, and why is the race card a thing mm. is the point mm. why is it a brand why is it a thing mm. why is it that you can speak to unrelated white people and they talk mm, about the cool. race card why is the term a term mm. so why isn't it some undefinable thing that we say why isn't it that some some person says oh you're using race as, a, as an excuse or someone else says yeah, you're, yeah. yeah, yeah. why is yeah. it the race card <laughs> right <laughs> it's been branded been coined, right yeah. right it's mm. been coined right mm. and so what I, my, what my argument is is that in itself is racist because white people live in this privilege and they don't have that that you know that thing against them mm. you can't you can't speak into you can't you can't delegitimize mm. somebody bringing that thing forward and again i i i'm the first to say i've seen yeah. people of color yeah. abuse yeah. race as an as a, as as one sec race as an issue to 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 kind of um, detract from the fact that, or distract from the fact that mm. they're doing something wrong, mm. that does exist. Mm. I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not taking away that at all. Mm. But we still shouldn't create this concept of race, race card. Go on, sorry, you were gonna say. No, no, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, like what you're saying, but mm. um, it's just bad, isn't it? Like just that the how people of color have made it a thing as well because of the them doing the very thing that they're being accused of, mm-hmm. and then using that. Um, as as a as a thing that's saying that you know you, you you've picked on me because I'm black or I'm Pe- I'm Indian or whatever mm. that that it's it's almost like it reinforces it as of well. Course, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like and I think that's the, the power needs to be yeah. killed in that in that sp- in that place as well. Do you know what I mean? Where we shouldn't be using it like that. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely shouldn't be because. It's it's a real it disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. It, it, of course it does. It's a selfish of, individual way of getting advantage for yourself. Yeah, at the expense okay, so of, everybody, of else, everybody else yeah. who's of your race. Who is actually experiencing yeah. real yeah. racism? It's a false flag. Or, yeah, it's a false flag. But however, mm. there are many false flags in life, right? So mm. an, the example that I always give is of the is of the the, the concept of rape. Yeah. Now, no person in their right mind, no no decent human being mm. would condone rape right um you know men largely women do Mm. get raped women do rape men as well but it's 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 sex it's legally sexually abused right um men rape men and and men and men rape men right so we know that yeah yeah. so we know that men it's not i wouldn't say it's a common thing but it it, happens yeah it happens then we know about it yes but more more often than not it's a case of a man forcibly having sex with a woman right mm. against her will right yeah. so no one who's sane and logical and decent is going to say that's an okay thing to do it's an absolute crime and it's an absolute vi- and violation thing, no no what's it? <laughs> it's an absolute violation mm. right mm. for that for that to that to be um that to be condoned mm. right and we also know though that there are a small percentage of people who cry rape, women who cry rape and mm. say, I have been raped by a man, mm. yeah? Usually a man of some influence or, or mm. having some sort of, um, you know, stardom or fame or money or whatever, yeah? Of accusing a man of raping them, mm. right? And fa- falsely accusing. Mm. So we learn afterwards that that did not happen, yeah. right? And sometimes we don't learn that it, that mm. it didn't happen and, and men go to prison for mm. that, right? Mm. So there's a real thing about rape and us trying to, as a society, deal with rape. Mm. And there's another thing about people falsely accusing, women falsely accusing men of rape. Mm. But none of us would say, because that problem exists and the abuse of that of that um, ability yeah. to, 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 to um, disclose mm. or to identify your rapist mm. or being or you being raped, mm. yeah? We would never say, yeah. you know, you're, you're pulling the rape card, yeah. right? We'd That's never, really good we would example, never... Example, actually, yeah. yeah. It's a perfect example because yeah. it's exactly the same thing, isn't it? It's like exactly it's, the same thing. It's just... We pick and like I just said, we just we pick and choose, and it we pick and choose where we want to hold. Um, Who we want to have empathy, empathy for, for yeah, and sympathy exactly. for, right? Yeah. 
And so, so for mm. us, so we, for us in society, we would never ever mm. have this system of a rape card mm. or this concept of a rape card where we we doubt or we doubt the majority of, of women who say they've been raped because there are a few that that abuse yeah. that system. Yeah. So why would we have that situation in race? And again, I would yeah. argue that it's because of racism. It's because of the subtlety of racism. We don't want to be em um, empathetic or be sympathetic towards people of colour because they're undeserving of our sympathy and yeah. I say that as a person of colour yeah. right so so in the white psyche in white society in white hierarchy yeah. right in white supremacy there's no space to feel sorry for yeah. black people yeah. there's no space to feel sorry for people of colour yeah. right yeah. and so therefore if they're talking about race they must be causing trouble do you know yeah. what I mean they're, 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 they're trying to draw the yeah, race card take, and yeah. how dare they have yeah. some sort of privilege or advantage over us yeah. yet white people walk around with this privilege every day of their lives mm. and not just in one way like in every way because that's the way the system is set up mm. right and so the argument that we're bringing is the race card is a, a is a racist concept mm. yeah you should not be using it if you're a person who's who's um you know a, a white person a person not of color who who uses that you need to challenge yourself and we challenge you mm. yeah that that is a racist concept to accuse a person of color of drawing the race card is a racist concept and it's a deeply mm. racist concept and it's very very subtle and it may be i get it man it may be that you don't think that you're racist mm. find find some other way of dealing with that man mm. yeah find some other evidences or proof search mm. that back do what you need to do to find that proof mm. but don't accuse somebody of, of, of drawing the race card mm. yeah because yeah. it's ra it's racist yeah and it, and it disadvantages people who are legitimately trying to explain to you why they're offended insulted impacted mm. harmed or hurt mm by white supremacy and by racism mm. so yeah just something to go away and think about um yeah, and, was, yeah. that was really good actually um, especially what you said about the rape card i mean that's yeah as a society we would never you know wouldn't even enter our minds to say that mm. you know and it's it's so so crazy to think that we would do it for people of color in it like it's mm. it's not on is it do you know I mean? we need to be done away with that mm. you know that needs to be done away with that whole it shouldn't it shouldn't even be a thing mm. you know we should be talking about it as a thing definitely mm. definitely something to go away with you yeah. know we want we're about equality we're about anti-racism we want a better world and we're hopeful you know that things can change so to challenge you yeah it's you a challenge as well yeah. isn't it to yourself because it because it's so quick to say it's a phrase isn't it now mm. like it's it is a phrase mm. that we use so um that people use so it's just challenging yourself if you ever felt the need to or the urge to use that as a, po a point in an argument. Mm. Use something else. Yeah, check yeah. yourself. Yeah. And see why you're saying it. You know, yeah. what, what, on what basis would you use that? Yeah. We're pushing towards a better world, man. Yeah. yeah. Anti racism and equality. Mm. Right. Take care.